Hey guys. So today we are going to try another TryTreats.com mystery box, and this time it is from the Netherlands. So let's open it up and see what we got inside. Boom! Ooh, Amsterdam, Netherlands. That's a nice little postcard. Of course, this is the envelope. You get an envelope in every one of these boxes to just kind of introduce you to the country mm -hmm. or the origin of the food or candy or whatever is inside this box. Like we said, it is the Netherlands, and we have some friends that are Dutch. So let's see what this tastes like. Now, they're, they have a whole different take on candy. We tried Germany last time. It was a little colorful. That looks good. <laughs> oh, man. There's not a whole lot of color there's in it. There's not much color to it. It looks like there's a lot of biscuits in here. Maybe like, and... looks like a little bit higher quality stuff, maybe. Yeah. I don't I'll... know. Let's try it. Let's give it a go. All right, I'm just going to pick this first because I think it looks, it looks really good. It's called Stroopy Dutch Syrup Waffles. Okay. From Dutch Bakery. Let's try. They really are like waffles. They're heavy. Let's try them. It's called Stroop Waffles. It's a syrup waffle. It's a traditional Dutch waffle cookie made from two layers of baked dough and containing a caramel-like syrup filling in the middle. It is recommended to enjoy with coffee or tea. Well! Alrighty. Wow. Whoa! It looks like a pancake! I thought they were going to break, but look. They bend. Oh, they smell good. Oh, they smell so good. Ready? Uh-huh. Oh my god, that's delicious. That's really good. I love these. Like, everything about this is good. Yeah, there's no complaints whatsoever. It has like, like a honey flavor to it. Yeah. And syrupy type, mm -hmm. yeah, obviously. But uh, yeah. this is something that I could see done in different flavors and things like that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. just like a kid, like, here you go, have one. Like, this is really, I really good. I wouldn't feel bad giving one of these to a kid because I don't think that they taste so much like a cookie. They, no, they're a lot like, I mean, I don't know how to explain it, but they're very, like, bendable because of the syrup that's inside of them. Mm -hmm. And you can see that you'll pull them apart and everything, but they break apart. And the shell that's on it is actually really sweet yeah. and actually really tasty. I'm going to go with these little thingies that says Vinco Inglés Drop. This says Dutch licorice by Vinco. Dutch licorice or drop, as it's known in the Netherlands, is a type of licorice with a salty taste and a hard texture. You may find the taste extreme if you're not used to it, but drop is a staple snack in the Netherlands. I wonder what that means, actually. I, that's what I'm sitting here wondering, like, oh my god, is it going to be, like, extremely gross? I like licorice. I, I like licorice. I, I like licorice. I hate black licorice. They got all the different kinds, though. It's like, which one do you want to try? There's so many different kinds. I don't know. Oh god, they stink. Ooh. Oh god, that smells awful. Let's go for it. <laughs> oh, that's the grossest thing I've ever had in my life. I like black licorice, and I think that's okay. I can see why they're saying extreme, though. That's, like, not the normal kind of licorice that we have here. That's Our licorice is disgusting. a little strong, but that's like, that's got, that's got like fuel in it. Like it's You this. could like light a volcano with that. That's nasty. It wasn't, well, it wasn't good. I could say it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good either. All right. Pick something delicious because I picked something bad. All right, well, I'm going for original king. <laughs> Peppermint by king. Peppermints Perfect. are a very popular snack in the Netherlands. Crunchy, but not too hard in texture. These are perfect treats to go to eat on the go when you need refreshing taste in your mouth. I need refreshing there we go. taste in my that mouth. That is perfect then. Let's go for it. Mm, 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 mm. No licorice. No licorice. So that tastes like like in America kind of our not very popular mint. Like it's like a lifesaver? No, lifesaver is good because that's like that hard candy coating of mint. Mm -hmm. This is more of that powdery coating. Yeah, like an Altoid. Like an Altoid, exactly. But they're not that far apart, so it doesn't really surprise me. Mm -mm. Altoids probably take, or this probably takes the taste after that, since it's around yeah. that area. So, not bad, though. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Let's go for this giant thing of chocolate cookies, is what it looks like. It says, four, I could be saying that wrong, biscuits by Helma. Four Choco Biscuits are biscuits made with all natural ingredients, round in shape with a crumbly texture, and delicious cream filling. These biscuits are perfect for enjoying with a cup of coffee or tea. Everything's with coffee or tea. I'm loving it. Oh, it's got like a protective case around it. And they still got broke. <laughs> <laughs> Where did they come from? All right, so it's a cookie, like a big cookie, I guess. Okay, ready? Mmm. There's nothing really special about that. It's good. It's I good. don't... It's normal. Like, it's, just a, it's just a cracker cookie with chocolate milk. It's like, um, what are those cookies called that have the uh, fudge icing on the back of them? Oh, yeah, I can't think of the name of them right now. I don't know, but it tastes like that fudge icing that's on the back of a, yep. a cookie, like a Keebler cookie. Um, they said it was natural ingredients, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can tell because it doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. It's very, yeah. just kind of dull. Um, I don't think that's dull. I think that's packed full of flavor. Well, I don't. I think it's kind of dull just because it it's not bad. It's just not really like sugar or anything. Up next, we have pastels. 
Milk, milk, latte, orange crisp. Okay. And it's from Drost in Holland. And it looks like they're chocolates that are flavored with orange. It says that these are pastels, are creamy, silky, smooth chocolate treats, which come in round, bite-sized shapes that melt in your mouth, rich in flavor, yet well-balanced in taste. These pastels will satisfy any chocolate lover. All right, let's see. Oh, boy. What a cute oh. little package. Yeah, it's like in a little silver bar. Why does everybody's packaging so much better than ours? I know. I'm like, man, all we get is just like, here's your rectangular bar. Of We're lucky to have like it. the sticker that closes the bag. <laughs> exactly. Oh, wow. They look like Girl Scout cookies. Oh, in my gosh. They look like Thin Mints. Mm -hmm. Look at these guys. They look like little Thin Mints inside of it. Let's smell that chocolate. Oh, wow. It smells good. Oh, Ready? It's delicious. Mm, mm, hmm. mm. Good chocolate, good orange in it. My God, that's delicious. That's really good. That tastes like that tastes like it'd be like high quality chocolate. To yes. if there's anybody watching from the Netherlands, that looks is that high quality chocolate because it tastes like it is. It's delicious. Next, let's go for these little random balls yeah. that say Napoleon on them. <laughs> I don't know what they are, so let's find out. They're all in the box. It's kind of lame. It says Zwart Wit. Kogels by Napoleon. I totally butchered that. <laughs> Black and white balls are hard candy balls with a sweet caramel shell that makes an inner filling of black and white licorice. Oh, God. Uh oh. Providing a surprising burst and blend and flavor. I don't like licorice. This is going to suck. I didn't know there was white licorice. That's like salt. Yes! No, I can't do that. Why would you ever <laughs> eat that? I can't do that. That's literally like a ball of salt. Yeah, I, I, I felt like, I was like, the flavor. I, like it was a salt lick for horses or something. It was just, <laughs> it's a human salt lick. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, man. That yeah. was terrible. What was that thing called again? The name is fitting. Zwart wit. That's like the noise you make when you eat it. Zwart wit. <laughs> That's so true. Oh, man. Okay. Wow. Man, those are Kogels. bad. <laughs> Up next, we're going to try something else orange, and it says orange milk chocolate with Italian orange, and it's from Baroni, made with all natural ingredients. Chocolate sticks by Baroni. Baroni chocolate sticks are chocolate covered sticks with flavored filling. These sticks are smooth and creamy in taste with a crispy texture. They go perfectly with a cup of coffee or tea. Everything in this I box is I mean, this whole box is good with a cup of coffee or tea. <laughs> you let's guys just must just eat a lot of that, I guess. So they're like little, honestly, they look like rebar, like a little rebar. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Let's try this rebar. I don't know why I was expecting it to be like a pocky stick, but like... I, I do! I was like, alright, I'm waiting for the crunch, and there yeah, was no was crunch. All the orange was really good in that one. It tastes like a lot like orange. Yeah, it's very good. It's a very a strong, acidic flavor. It's good, though. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Honestly, our orange chocolate in America is really bad. Oh my god, it's terrible. If it you just, ever come uh, here, or you ever want to try it, don't do it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very fake orange. Like, this is saying it's made with all natural ingredients, and I don't know if that actually means they're using... You know, I, you know, I don't know how they're getting the taste of orange. I feel but. like I can taste, like, you know when you do, like, an orange zest and, it, like, you shave the skin mm -hmm. of an orange? Yeah. I feel like I can taste that in this. And then when you're trying to eat orange chocolate from America, it's pretty much like eating like a, gel a cardboard orange. orange. It's yeah, it's bad. not good. And last but not least, we have chocolate rolls. Those look really good. Chocolate rolls from Vector are made up of light, crispy wafers covered in a rich layer of Belgian chocolate. As you can probably already guess, they go great with a cup of coffee and tea. <laughs> well, who would have thunk it? Ooh. Ooh, lots of Japanese on the back of that box, so they must like it in Japan. After you, my dear. All right. Look how cool these look. Oh, they look like churros. <laughs> they do. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Wow, that's good. I can honestly say, this is something that I would imagine picking up at like a fair. I've never, like, it tastes kind of like, you know when you get to the bottom of a cone? That's what I was going to say! Oh, man! You ruined it! I was going to say that! <laughs> the bottom of the, the, what are those things called? The cone with the ice cream on top? The, the, I don't know. What are those things called? called? And they have, like, like, nuts on the top of yes, it. Yes, and the exactly ice cream, what and like. then the chocolate sits at the bottom of it, the you put it around. The best part of it. <laughs> Knuckles, man. <laughs> All right, that was the Netherlands. That was a really good box. Netherlands, you got some good, like, things. I'm going to say about the Netherlands food here. Number one, they're not fancy. There's nothing fancy in here as no, far as that goes. No, definitely not. But it seems like they take a lot, like the quality of their food. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what's going on here. The quality of the food is much better than the, the packaging. <laughs> to say that. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. They're not really fancy. There's nothing really fancy as far as packaging. 
and all that, but the food is really good. So what was your favorite item in the box? This is a hard one. This chocolate roll, man, it was so good. What about you? The chocolate roll was really good. I thought that these uh, these pastilles or whatever they're called were really good. But honestly, I the kinda, pancakes? I kind of got to go with these pancakes <laughs> because they're so much different than anything we have here. That's true. They are extremely different, but... I I think they're good. It's not something I would like buy as a go-to product all the time. But these chocolate yeah. rolls, I would keep them in the cabinet for like every day. I could see this being expensive though. I don't care. I, I would buy be, that. I think this would be like a $10 box of stuff and this would be like a couple bucks. Like this would be a pickup. I think this is something that's really good. They can have all different kinds of flavors in this with like yeah, cinnamon and things like that. A maple one. Oh man, that'd be good. This is good. <laughs> this Dutch bakery Can you imagine stroopy. a maple bacon one of those? Yeah. Maple bacon anything is good. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was TryTreats.com's box. They basically, you buy a box, and they give you a different country every time. So yes. it's kind of fun. We like doing this, and that's why Try Treats is a good fit for us, because we we're going to get a different. new place. Every, yeah, and what's yeah. good is you guys are from all different countries, so maybe one of these times you'll right. see your box, and you're like, hey, here we go. You Dude, know? There's my country. Let's see if they <laughs> actually represent it. <laughs> if you guys would like to try TryTreats.com, we'll put their link in the description, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.